Garrett Furman, you guys rose above the competition in your duels, getting yourselves a check for $2,000. and is down to the Army and the Marines, battling it out for the title of Forge and Fire champion and a check for $10,000. Now, in this final round, we're sending you back to your home forges to build an iconic weapon from history. Keeping up with the military theme, guys, we want you to build this. The Ames Cavalry Saber. <laughs> The Ames 1860 Cavalry Saber was a weapon of choice for both Union and Confederate armies during the Civil War. The lightweight sword features a slightly curved blade designed to deliver deadly slashes and stabs against enemy troops, while the ornate guard serves to protect the soldier's hand. Originally produced by the Ames Manufacturing Company in Massachusetts, the 1860 Cavalry Saber was retired from combat duty after the Spanish-American War. However, it is still used for ceremonial purposes today. Guys, you have four days to build your Cavalry Sabers. Good luck. We'll see you then. My name is Garrett Elting, United States Marine Corps. I got out as corporal. My first round, I had to make a machete out of fishhook canister Damascus. That feels good. I didn't have very many oopsies or significant problems. I'm ready to go. Never really made anything this long before. It's going to be difficult, but I think I can get it done. Nice and easy. I've got one more forge weld to go, and then we're uh, about ready to start making the sword. My plan is to have two ovens facing each other. Uh, I'll pull them apart, pull the blade out, and then go into the quench. It's kind of crunch time right now. Cross our fingers that we can get actual hard blade. If not, it's going to be a huge problem. Pull the blade out. Everything came out really warpy. I'm going to go ahead and straighten it with my straightening jig. It's not as bad as it was, yeah! So plan of attack for today is get this thing assembled. Yeah. This is the first sword I've ever done. I'm trying to decide if it's going to be sturdy enough. It's probably going to be fine. I'm just overthinking it. But I'm going to stick with knives. They're, they're more my style. Totally fully assembled. It looks badass. Everything went great. My name is Furman Lopez. I am 52 years old. I was a United States Army combat medic. In my sergeant's duel, I made an M1915 Bolo bayonet. It was a great experience, and now I'm here for the final competition. I am so excited. I haven't slept in the last 48 hours. <laughs> the first time that I was on the show, I did not have a press. Now that I have the press, I can't wait to use it. Hoping for the best on this one. My welds are really good. I'm getting it nice and squished. I'm having a good time, and all of a sudden. Ah! <laughs> my billet is stuck on the press. I can't get it out. The gears break. My press is stuck. I can't get my billet out. I might as well have to start another one. I have nowhere to go but to go to my backup plan. I have a 1946 Jeep leaf spring, military issue that I'm going to use for this. So now that I have met the perimeters, I'm going for the quench. All right, perfect. It's hard. So yesterday, I got my guard shape. Oh, there I go. The sword is 99% completed. The first time, I decided not to test it. I was not confident. This time, I am going to test it with a pineapple. To my knowledge, I am the only Puerto Rican that has ever been on the show, and I am so proud to be able to represent Puerto Rico. It will cut. It's the end of day four. I am completely done. Now it's in the hands of the judges. All right, bladesmiths. This is the kill test. I'm going to take your weapons. I'm going to deliver some lethal blows in this ballistic dummy. Garrett, you're up first. You ready for this? Sure. All right, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> All right, Garrett, let's talk about your Ames Cavalry Saber here. First up, your handle construction. So I'm able to get my hand in it, and I've got a good grip, but your guard is small because every time I swing, I'm hitting it with my knuckle right there, and I can feel that impact. But 
That edge cuts very deep into this ballistic's dummy, even on the thrust. Overall, sir, your aim's cavalry saber. It'll kill. Thank you. OK, Femin, it's your turn, sir. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, Femin, let's talk about your cavalry saber here. This is a heavier blade, but it really aids in the cuts. These are much deeper cuts because of the weight that you have in here. And of course, at the end, it slice and dice the head off easily. <laughs> Overall, sir, your saber, you will kill. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, the case on chop. Now, I'll be taking your sabers and chopping into this ammunition case. Now, this test is not about what your blades do to that case, but the case might do to your blades. Gary, you're up first. You ready? Yeah. All right, first off, Garrett. Your blade edge took no damage whatsoever, which is great. But what's happened is you've got these leather washers top and bottom of your guard, and those are compressed. So now you've got a guard that's loose. But it's still really maneuverable. You've got the balance and the weight really nice. Nice and done. Thank you. Berman, <laughs> you're up. You ready? Yes, sir. Yes, I am. OK. <laughs> Furman, your blade is in good shape. There's one section right here that's just not that sharp. Your handle is a little on the large side, but your leather underneath here made it comfortable. But all in all, still solid, still in one piece. Nicely done. Thank you, sir. All right, bladesmiths, this is the sharpness test, the canvas tent slice. To find out how sharp your sabers are, I'm going to take your weapons and slice on these canvas tents. Garrett, you're first. You ready for this? Let's do it. Garrett, let's talk about your saber here. Your edges took no damage and are razor sharp. <laughs> the guard is still a little loose, but overall, sir, your saber, you will cut. Thank you. All right, for me, it's your turn, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. All right, Femin, let's talk about your edge over here. So you have a sharp edge all the way through, except that one section right here you missed. <laughs> but it still cuts on the canvas. And overall, sir, your weapon, you'll cut. Yes. All right, Blade Smith. Well, I got to say, it's been an absolute honor watching a bunch of fellow veterans come into our forge. But the Armed Forces Redeployment Tournament has come to an end, and the judges have made a decision. Today's Forge and Fire champion is... Berman, congratulations. <laughs> now, Garrett, you fought hard, and I'm happy to watch you work here. But unfortunately, your blade did not make the cut today. I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Good job, brother. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, guys. 
Furman made a really great sword, so he uh, definitely deserved to take home the uh, title, that's for sure. Well, Furman, congratulations, man. That means you are the champion of the Armed Forces Redeployment Tournament, and you just won yourself a check for $10,000. Congratulations. <laughs> man! Man, I just became the Fortune Fire Champion. Weba! I feel great. I feel blessed. The Army took it again. Furman, seeing you at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home, have a beer, relax, and just enjoy the moment. <laughs>